Hi guys, James from DBG here and it's time for some unboxing. So as you can see, we have one of Wall of Games new offerings, I think from the very end of last year, 2021, which is the British and Inter-Allied Commandos. Um, I'm actually quite looking forward to this because I managed to pick up the British inventory set, I mean, starter army, um, around my birthday last year, so these are going to be added to it so we can have lots more funky infantry for fighting some late war battles. Anyway, so this is really cool um, because we get a nice mix of uh, weapons and equipment and stuff so we can do um, Canadians, Australians, British, French, etc, etc. All the guys who are in the, um, in the commandos, both the Royal Marines and the Army commandos before they became the Royal Marine commandos. Anyway, so as always, let's just have a look, quick look at the um, artwork on the box. So it's standard Peter Dennis Warlord Games Osprey artwork. And as you can see, you're going to get 30 multipoles miniatures, all in lovely 28mm World War II goodness. And on the back, we have a list of the weapons and all the other stuff you want and obviously all the colours that you need to paint them that look like they're all Vallejo colours and so as you can see you've got Thompson's the Enfields, Vickers Cades, Machine Guns, 2 inch Mortars Piat's and Browning High Powers with uh, Mills Bomb Grenades Bandoliers and the Fairbairn Sykes Fighting Knife and then obviously we're going to get the uh, decals and everything and then there's some stuff about blurb about what they are and there's some pictures of the finished models so as always let's crack these bad boys open I'm actually really excited for these as I think I've already said Bear me one moment. The plastic's fighting back. So, here's the contents of the box. Right, so here's the instruction leaflet. We've got the bag, which again, showing you all the colours and some lovely painted miniatures and all the decals that I can never be bothered to put on because they're just a faff and a pain in the arse when they're this small and oh, if I do it I'll probably just paint them on and we've got a mix of paints Vallejo, Army Painter and Panzer Aces obviously these are just suggestions if you have your own then use those we've got the Vickers K gun which was originally a um, gun designed for the RAF to use in bombers and stuff for self-protection and what have you hence why I had a nasty habit of overheating when used in ground combat by these guys but it has an impressive rate, rate of fire um, almost similar to that of the German MGs and then we've got the two inch mortars and then there should be a Piat around somewhere as well and then your standard all the game construction sheet with all the stuff, all the different heads, bodies, arms, etc., 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 etc. Right, put that to one side. Standard bases, 30 of them. We have the decals, and the person who lovingly put them in the packet, and then with your standard. Five sprues, each sprue has six guys on them. Right, so let's have a look. Let me just move that box out of the way so it doesn't interfere. Right, so let's have a look. Let's start with the heads. So there we go, a nice selection of beret heads. Standard shouting and screaming. I wonder if there's a mustachioed one. 
kind of a British set with that, someone with a moustache on. And then we've got the ones with the um, comforters on. Then moving down, we've got the uh, Fairburn Sykes knife, the ammo pouches for the uh, Vickers K guns. Got some Thompsons and the Enfield number fours. Now we're on to the uh, and to the bodies. As usual, you can see there's that really annoying mold line running around the entire miniature from one foot all the way across to the other foot and then up to the crutch on every single one. Warlord Games, I love you, but your mold lines piss me off. But anyway, so oh, as usual. There's the Vickers K. It's Browning High Power, so you can make a small little force out of this. And you can probably get a 500 point army out of this box alone. You've got everything you need. You can use your ten, 20 of your guys or two 10 man squads. And then you've got a command team, two inch mortar, a Piat, and then four guys left over to do whatever you like with. Make observers, snipers, whatever you like. Or just fold them into the uh, other squads and split them into three smaller squads if you like. And anyway, so we've got the Bergens, Wolf Evan Sykes, Bandoliers, Trusty Shovel. You've got um, gas mask cases, another Thompson. So all in all, flip them over the other side to look at the rest of the webbing. Really good quality of sculpt is really good. Obviously, the heroic scale, so proportions aren't 100%. And what's even better is there's absolutely no prone models, which is fantastic. I hate prone models, yeah. So, I'm actually. Ooh, Quite looking forward to building these at some point. I have an awful lot of commission jobs on, so yeah, I'll get to these at some point this year. So I'll say another quality offering from Warlord Games. Um, so let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, Hopefully I'll get around to these and the other British set and I'll have quite a large um, a British army to go up against some of the stuff I have in my cases behind me. Anyway, as always, do check out all the links in the description for all the stuff I can never remember. Um, Patreon, Goblin Games, etc, etc, etc. Do all the YouTube stuff, like and subscribe and share. Um, I'm trying to pull my finger out and get some videos out and some content out. So uh, this little channel, this little project can uh, flourish a little bit more. And as always, stay safe, take care. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.